And let's start in child's pose today. So let's go ahead and come on down into child's pose. Knees nice and wide, toes touch. And then just take your hands all the way down. Head to your mat. And I want you to just start to focus in on your breath. Take a nice big inhale to the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. And I want you to start to focus in on your intention today for class. Your intention is a word or a phrase or a mantra. Just bring that intention right into your heart space. And if nothing comes up for you today, I want to offer up, be present. Just be present to your movement, to just moment by moment. And let's do one more big inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. And now let's take our right arm and thread it underneath our left arm, right ear to the mat, and just get a nice stretch into the shoulders. Good. And then gently bring it back to center and let's switch it out, taking your left arm underneath your right, left ear to your mat. And back to center. And now gently come on up into tabletop. So wrists are right underneath the shoulders, knees are right underneath your hips. So let's just start to find some movement in cat and cow. So arch your back for cat, drop the belly for cow, pull the shoulders down, gaze to the ceiling. And feel free to find any movement. So if you want to rock side to side. Breathe, good. And then we're back at a tabletop. Let's just take that left arm up and let's just start to circle the shoulder. So nice big round circles, about three or four in one direction and then switch the direction. Just finding movement in the joint. Good, and when you finish that side, go ahead and switch to the other side. Three or four circles in each direction. Breathing through it. Good. And then come on back into tabletop. And today let's go down onto our elbows. So it's like we're still in tabletop, but our elbows are down. So it's like we're gonna go into plank, but instead we're gonna do a little dolphin. So let's take the hips up and just dolphin it out. And if you want, you can bend the knees, come up on the toes, just find some movement here in dolphin. It's a different feeling than down dog. Elbows are on the mat. Good. I like to bend my knees and then straighten them out. Let's do that one more time. Bend the knees, straighten it out, and really get your hip 
your hip bones, your sit bones up to the sky. Hold for three, breathe for two, and gently come down onto your knees. Oh, that felt good. Back up onto your hands, and now let's go into downward facing dog. So go ahead and take yourself up and start to pedal out your heels. Taking one heel down, then the other. And now inhale high up onto your toes. And exhale, press your heels down to your mat. That's Tiffany, always wanting to be in the video. <laughs> inhale high, exhale press. And now slowly start to walk your feet forward to your hands and stay over in forward fold. And just rock side to side, let your head be heavy. Good. And now place your hands either on your mat or they can go onto your shins. We're going to go into a half lift. So the back is flat. But I want, what I want you to start to practice is lifting with the sit bones. So think of your sit bones pointing up to the sky and almost like separating. So you're getting a good stretch. This is gonna activate and stretch out your hamstrings even more. Keeping the core nice and tight. So the sit bones are the bones of the glutes. Good, so really push them up towards the ceiling. You'll feel a different type of stretch. And then exhale, forward fold. Good, now slowly roll yourself all the way up into standing. Oh, good. Nice. And let's take a nice big inhale all the way up into mountain pose. Good. Arms are up. Beautiful. Making sure you guys can see. And just relax your shoulders down your back. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale, baby back bend. Elbows down, chest up, hips forward. Inhale, back up to center. And now exhale, twist, left arm forward, right arm is back. Keep that right hip forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, twist, right arm forward, left arm is back. Keep that left hip forward to the front of your mat. And inhale, back up to center. And exhale, forward fold, take it all the way down to your mat. And now here, I want you to plant your hands and make sure your left foot is planted and take your right leg straight up. Make sure that your hip bones are pointed down to your mat, square off your hips. And this is standing splints here, so you'll just get a little stretch. And your knee can definitely be bent here. We're still warming up. But I want us to stretch out our hamstrings and hips a little bit more. So now you're going to take this right leg behind your left leg. So your right foot is behind. So it's crossed. And now I want you to take it halfway left, flat back. And now exhale, fold. Good. Gently start to walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, but pull your right hip back. So you're getting a good stretch into the hips. And then back to center, walk your hands over to the right side of your mat, but pull your left hip back. So don't twist with it, pull it back so you feel that good stretch. Good, and gently back to center. And now inhale, bring your right leg back up, and then forward fold, take it down. So now let's do the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg. Woo, this is my tight leg. So square off your hips, point your toes down to your mat. Just breathe here for a moment. Nice big inhale. And as you exhale, take your left foot to the side of your right foot behind it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
And now start to walk your hands over to the right side of your mat, pulling your left hip back. And then back to center, walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, pulling your right hip back. Breathe through it. And inhale back to center. And inhale your left leg back up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up into standing. And exhale, hands to heart. Good. Just close your eyes for a few moments. Go back to your intention that you set at the beginning. Just breathe it in and start to feel grounded, feel all four sides of your feet. And we'll go through our first vinyasa flow. So inhale it all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, take it all the way down to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now plant your palms, step back into high plank, hold for a moment, hold for four, for three, for two, and now shift forward, exhale, chaturanga, half of a push-up, either on your feet or your knees, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, shoulders are down, collarbones open, and exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Beautiful, one more big inhale, and open mouth exhale. Nice, and now gently come on down to your knees. We're gonna start a little differently today, everybody. So, please, if you have your block, grab your block, put it to the top of your mat. If you don't have one, it's okay. Also, I want you to grab one weight and bring it to the top of your mat as well. We're going to have some fun. All right, put on some tunes. Hopefully you can hear them. All right. Okay, so here's what we're going to start with. If you have your block, please place your block in between your legs. If you don't have a block, you can use a pillow off your couch or your bed. And we're going to go straight into high plank. So I want you to squeeze the block or squeeze the pillow right in between those thighs. Keep the tummy nice and tight. Good. For four, three, two, down dog. Take it to down dog. Back into high plank. Down dog. High plank. Start to find that movement. Keep going back and forth. Breathe. Breathe. Good, yes. Nice. We're just finding that movement. Core tight. For four, three, two, and one. Find high plank. Hold. For four, three, two. Go down to your forearms. Forearm plank. Squeeze that block or your pillow. Tummy is tight. Body sauce. Forward and back. Forward, back, forward, back. Good, keep going. Now in body saws, your body stays nice and flat, but stays down, but does not get propped up. Three, good. Four more. Here's four. Three, two, one. Hold it here for four. Three, two, come up to high plank. Back onto your hands. Good. Exhale, down dog. Good. All right, now we're going to add some little hops. You're going to bend those knees. You're still squeezing the block. Hop it forward, a little hop. Hop it back. Land in your down dog with your knees bent. Go. Hop forward. Hop back. Hop forward. Hop back. Good. Keep those lower abs nice and tight. Nice and tight. 
Good, and land lightly on your feet. Squeeze the block, squeeze your pillow, or if you don't have one of those, continue to squeeze your thighs. Here's four, three, two, and one, down dog. Good, big inhale, open mouth exhale, and back to high plank. Good, hold for four, three, two, back down your forearms. Going for body saws again, forward, back, forward, back, tummy tight, for four, three, two, one, back to high plank, for four, three, two, hips high, down dogs. One more set of hops, forward and back. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, and go. Tummy tight. Good. Really use those lower abs. Squeeze. Good. Last four, looking good. Three, two, and one, down dog. Woo! Hold for four and breathe for three, two, and now gently walk your hands all the way back to meet your feet. Slowly roll yourself up. <sighs> Good. You're gonna keep that block, but grab your weight. Grab those weights, everybody. Good job. Just warmed up the core a good bit, right? So now we're gonna do chair squats. So make sure you're squeezing that block so your inner thighs get turned on, the lower abs or glutes. Shoulders down, chair squats. Here we go. Down, up, inhale, exhale. Squeeze those glutes every time you come up. Press through your heels. Down, up, down, up. Good, four more. Four, squeeze, three, two, one. Take it down and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to singles, down, up, down, up. Good, keep it going. Squeeze that block. Shoulders down, chest stays up. Good. For four, three, three, two. Take it down and pulse. Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to singles. Take it down. Come up on the toes this time. Down. Toes. So squat. Toes. Work the calves. Squeeze the glutes. Three, four, three. Squeeze that block. Two, one. Take it down. Now hold it here for a moment. My block is trying to leave. Come up onto your toes. Squeeze your block. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Heels down, bring it up. Woo! That burns for me. Now bring the arms up. Good. We're still with that block. Single arms. Here we go. Here's right, left, right, left. Breathe. Good. You got it. Eight, <clears throat> seven, six, five, four, three. Now double, down and press. Take it at your own pace, depending on how heavy the weights are. For four, three, two, back to singles. Here we go. Right, left, breathe. Squeeze that block. Keep the knees slightly bent. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Take it down together. Down and up. 
breathe. Core tight. Woo! Burn out those shoulders. Eight, seven, six, we got this. Five, four, three, two, hold it up. Hold. Woo! Gently start to bring the arms down, palms face down, hold. Good. For four, three, two, slowly bring it down. Woo! Side raises. Up and down. Up, down. And you can always do side to side. Good. You got it. Breathe out on your way up, breathe in on your way down. Looking good, everyone. Good. Breathe. Almost there. For four, three. You got this. Two. Hold this one up. Hold. Three, four, three, two. Bring it down. Good. We're going straight into biceps. Hammer curls, which means palms face up. So up and down. Up, down, up, down. You can always do one arm at a time if you have heavier weights. Breathe. Keep the elbows in. I'm showing you sideways so you see I'm not rocking and I'm not going back and forth. Knees are slightly bent and control it on the way down. Good. Here's eight. Seven. You got this. Three. Six. Squeeze your block. Five. Tummy is tight. Four. Three. Good. Two. One. Very nice. Now palms face up. We're still doing curls, but it's out to the side. Breathe. Knees are slightly bent. Just hitting it a different way. If you need to do one arm, go for it. Breathe. Press through the heels. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze your block. Here's eight. Seven. Working those bodies. Six. Five. Almost there. Four. Squeeze. Three. Last two. One. Hold it halfway down. Shoulders, palms face up. So we're working the rotator cuff. Breathe. You can always go lighter. You can always use just your hands as well. Breathe. For four. Three. Squeeze your block still. Two. And one. Good. Bring the arms all the way up. We're going to extensions, tricep extensions. Halfway down, all the way up. Three. Keep those elbows close to your head. Body is straight. Core is tight. Squeeze. Good. We're burning the arms right now as we're standing. Yes, you got it. Tummy tight. Squeeze that block. Here's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it on down. Good. So, Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add all that together. Squat into hammer curl, press it up. Tricep extension, back down. Squat, hammer curl, press up. Tricep extension, back down. And go. Breathe, breathe. Go at your own pace. I'm gonna switch my weights. Going a little heavier right now. Good. Keep the tummy tight. Breathe. Nice and controlled. So all the movements together. Good. We have about 30 more seconds to go. We're going straight for one minute. Core tight. Squeeze that block. Squat. Hammer curl into a press into a tricep extension, then back down. Good. You should be feeling the burn, especially in the upper body. Woo! We got this. 15 seconds. Core tight. Tommy tight, tummy tight. Breathe through it. Here's five, four, Three, two, and release. 
Woo! Take it down, take your weights down, but don't take your block out. So let's go to the top of our mat. We're gonna do a vinyasa with our block. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms. You can either hop back, squeezing the block, or walk it back. And go through your full vinyasa. If you hop back, land in your chaturanga. And down dog is where we meet. Whew. Big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Now walk your hands back to meet your feet. Slowly roll it all the way up. Woo! Good job! You may now take your block out. But we are still using our block, so it's on the floor. And one foot on top, so let's put our right foot down. And it's going to be our left foot out. If you don't have a block, it's okay. If you're in the same position, your foot just isn't elevated on the block. So now I'm going to take one weight. You could do one weight or two. And we are going to do a squat with a side lift. All right, here we go. Take it down. Take it down. And up. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe. Nice and controlled. So make the outer thigh pull you up. Make that hip, hip muscle, that thigh muscle do the work. Breathe. Good. Land lightly. Core is tight. Inhale on your way down. Exhale on your way up. Breathe. Good. Here's six. We got this. Five. Tummy tight. Four. Almost there. Three. Last two. This one, hold your leg up. Hold. Hold. For four. Woo! Three. Two. And one. Woo! I almost lost it on that one. Very good. All right, other side. My body has been sore this week. So, I may be moving a little slower today. <laughs> All right, same thing, other side. Here we go. Take it down. And up. Inhale. Exhale. Same thing on this side. Make that outer thigh. Do the work. Have it pull you up. So don't just throw your leg up there. Nice and controlled. Breathe. Good. Breathe out as it goes up. Breathe in as you go down. You got this. Six more. Here's six. Five. Tummy is tight. Four. You're almost there. Three. Last two. One more. Hold this one up. Hold the leg up. For four. Three. Two. And one. <sighs> Good job, everyone. You can move the block off of your mat. Take your weight down. Let's go through one vinyasa flow. Inhale it all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, either step or hop back. Go through your flow. Breathe. You can always skip chaturanga and meet us in down dog. Good. Big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good. And come on down to child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Very nice. One more big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And press yourself on up. 
Toga series to the beginning of it. Nice. Very good. Here's six. Three. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Standing splits. Bend that left knee. Take that right leg back. You're in your lunge. And now tap that right foot to meet your left. Tap. 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 Good, keep yourself nice and low, keep the butt down. Good, breathe through it, keep that left heel on your mat, don't let it come off. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it back into your lunge. Now you're gonna grab you're going to come on up onto your thigh. You're going to grab your weight, your light weight, one weight. We go straight into side raises. You can also be down on the back knee. Breathe. Yes. Good. Take it out to the side. Breathe out, breathe in. Looking good. Nice. And only take it to shoulder level. Good. You got this. Here's seven. Six, tummy tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now, back row. Pull, pull, pull. Yes. Good. Keep that elbow close to the body. Get the elbow up nice and high. Squeeze. Looking good, everyone. Beautiful. Here's six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now, grab your other weight. Make sure you have both dumbbells now. Make sure you're nice and supported. Keep the core tight. And gently come up into your lunge. Yes, good. And now arms are up. Lunge and press. Down, press. Down, press, good. So you're learning to transition now in a different way. Good, inhale and exhale. Yes, very nice. Keep that left heel planted, keep that core tight. Beautiful, good. Here's six, five, four, so be tight. Three, two, Hold this one down. We're still going to do the eight pulses. Here's eight, seven, just the arms. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your weight right down. You're going to launch into warrior three. And back rows. Yes. Good. Modification is that back foot is down. Keep your back flat in either position. Breathe. You got it. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Now bring that knee woo, straight up. <sighs> and extend the leg. Bicep curls. Breathe. Yes. It's very different doing it the opposite direction, right? <laughs> Good. It's a different type of balance that we're finding. Good. Here's four, three, 
two, one. Bring that knee up, arms go straight up. Pulse the knee. Up, 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 up. Yes, looking good. Keep the tummy tight. Work that hip flexor, work that quad. For four, three, two, one. Hold the leg, hold. For four, three, two, one. Bring it down and arms are down. Woo! So good. You can actually take the weights down but keep them at the top of your mat. How did that feel? Different, right? Starting from the, from the back going forward. Very good. Well, now we have to do the other side. So let's go for our right foot forward, left foot is back. Let's just go straight into our lunge. Okay. And now launch off, standing splits. Left leg is lifted. Shiva squats. Take it down. Up. Down. Up. Inhale. Exhale. Get nice and low. Make sure that that right heel stays on, your, on the floor. Good. Very nice. Breathe through it. Breathe. Here's five. Four. Three. Two. One. Standing splits. Now take that left leg back. Land back into your lunge. Tap that left foot forward to meet the right. Here we go. Tap. 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 Your butt is down. Core is tight. You're working those glutes. Yes. Very nice. Make sure to keep that front foot completely planted on your mat. Love it. Good. Four, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that left leg back. And now come on up onto that right thigh. Grab one weight. Side raises. So you're out to the side. Side lift. Yes. Good. Breathe. You got it. Tummy is tight. And only lift to shoulder level. Breathe. Good. You got this. Here's five. Four. Three. Two. One. And now straight into back row. Single arm back row. Modification is on the back knee. Good. Keep it going. Breathe, breathe. Good. Yes. Get that elbow nice and high. Keep it close to the body. Here's four. Three. Two. One. Good. Now grab your other weight. Get yourself ready. Use your core. Just come straight up into your lunge. Weights are up. And now lunge and press. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Yes. Down and up, down and up. Good, looking good. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Three. Here's six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, bring it down, hold, just the what? just the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms down, launch off. Woo. Warrior three with a back row. This offside wasn't as graceful. Good. <laughs> yes, you're gonna feel that booty. Absolutely. The glue should be on fire. You got it. You're either in warrior three or your back foot is down, still with your back flat. Three. Here's four. Three. Two. One. Woo. Gently bring that left knee up. Extend the leg. Bicep curls. Yes. Good. Very nice. It's finding your balance in a whole different way today. It's not what we're used to, right? Gotta switch it up on you. You ladies are strong. Breathe. 
Good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee up, arms are up. And lift the knee. Up, 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 up. Good. Find that balance, find that one focal point. Good. For six, five, four, three, two, hold for four, three, two, and weight is down. Woo! Don't let go of your weights. Go straight into a squat and press. Heels in, toes out. Down, up, down, up. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. More time. Yes. You got it. Keep it going. Breathe, breathe. Beautiful. Good. Six more. Six. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. Five. Get that butt back there. Press through the heels. Four. Three. Two. One more. And one. Woo. Good. Hold the weights. Bring the feet a little bit closer together. And now arms down. We're going back to what we started with. Squat. Hammer curl. Press. Tricep extension. For one minute, if you want to grab your block, feel free. We're doing this for one minute straight again. So now you know the movement. Let me get my timer. Because I know I can always go more than a minute. All right, here we go. And go. So, squat, hammer curl, press, tricep extension, back down, squat, hammer curl, press, tricep extension, breathe, squeeze that block, squeeze those glutes, breathe, good, you got this, tummy tight. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Woo! Squat, hammer curl, press, tricep extension. Nice and controlled. Breathe. Good. 10 seconds, everyone. Push through it. You got it. Breathe, breathe. Press through those heels. Good. Five, four, three, two, and release. Woo! Keep your block, but squat, drop the weights. We're doing our vinyasa with our block again. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Land the palms, either hop or walk back. If you're hopping, land in your chaturanga. Breathe. You can also skip the chaturanga and go to down dog. Good. And come on down to your knees. Woo! You can release your block. Take a nice big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Woo. Good. All right. We did a lot of upper body already. I switched it up to do it standing versus on the floor. So we're going to go more in the core right now. So I want you to grab one weight. You're going to do what's called a pull through. So my weight's going to be on my side. I'm in plank position. And you can also have your feet wide. You pull the weight through. Pull. Pull. Okay, so you're pulling in the opposite direction, but you're still in plank. All right, get ready. In four, three, two, and go. Pull. Pull. 
Keep the tummy tight. So Julie, pull with the opposite arm. So pull the opposite way. So pull, with, yes, there you go. Good, good, good. Yes. Looking good, ladies. Keep the butts down. And the way to really keep your hips square is to squeeze your glutes so tight that they don't rock. Good. Three. Here's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come on down. Woo! Good. Now, flip it on over to your backs. Make sure you have one weight. And make sure you have your block or a pillow. All right. With your one weight, full sit-ups. But we're going to butterfly our legs. So, soles of feet together, knees out wide. And we're going to come up. Tummy tight. And go. These are a little more challenging, so if you want to do it without the weight, you can as well. And go. Breathe out. On your way up, breathe in, on your way down. Nice and controlled. On your way up. Nice and controlled on your way down. Keep the core tight. Use your breath. Use the core. Squeeze the abs. Good. Five more. Five. Tummy tight. Four. Three. Last two. One more. Nice and controlled. Woo! Take it down. Good. Take your weight down. Grab your block or your pillow. If you don't have either, you're just going to clap your hands in between the figure eights. Legs are up. Core tight. And go. Shoulders off the ground. Breathe. If you don't have a block or a pillow, you're clapping. Okay, so you can still do these. This bothers your lower back. Take your head down and bend your knees. You're still getting the work. Good. Three. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Woo! Grab behind those legs, pull yourself up. One more round of all three. So we're starting with the plank pull through. So grab your weight. Get ready. So remember in the plank pull through, it's the opposite hand. So if you're in plank, your weight's over here, you're pulling through, pull through to the other side. All right, here we go. In four, three, two, go. Pull it through. Pull it through. Yes, keep the core tight. Breathe, breathe. Good. Good, good, good. And really squeeze your glutes. When you squeeze your glutes, it helps you to keep your hips still so you're not rocking as much. Good. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Woo! Good. Back onto our backs. Butterfly full sit-ups with or without a weight. So soles and feet together. Knees out wide. Get ready. And go. Take it up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Nice and controlled, especially on your way down. Don't just land on your spine. Take it down one vertebrae at a time. Vertebra at a time. Breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in. Woo! Good. Six more. Six. 
So I feel these. Five. Four. Almost there. Three. Two. Last one. Woo! And take it down. Nice. Grab your block or your pillow or your hands. Figure eights. Here we go. Shoulders off the ground. Pass that block or your pillow or clap. Or if, you're, if your lower back hurts, bend the knees. Take the shoulders down. Good. If you want more of a challenge, try to straighten out your legs as much as possible. Breathe. Scoop that belly button in like it's touching your spine. Little to no arch to the lower back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes! We did it! Woo -hoo. Take a big stretch. <sighs> you did it, beautiful people. Good, bring your knees into your chest, rock side to side. And today we're going to do a half pigeon on each side. So grab behind the thighs, roll yourself up. And let's just flip ourselves over. Let's stretch out those hips. If you have any knee issues, feel free to stay on your back and do a figure four. I think I just wiped off my eyebrows. Okay, and here we go. Downward facing dog. Just find some movement. Good. Inhale your right leg high. And exhale, take that right knee right behind your right wrist. Okay, if this bothers your knee at all, feel free to go on your back for figure four. And gently take yourself down to your elbows. Now what I want you to do is actually tuck your toes today, tuck your toe under, and bring that left knee off of the mat for a moment, and rotate your quad so it's facing more towards the mat. And then place the knee back down and find a little bit more length in the back leg. It just helps to lengthen that back leg. Good. Big inhale. Open mouth exhale. We carry a lot of emotions in our hips. And from all our workouts, this is so important to stretch the hip flexor, the glutes. Good, one more big inhale. And exhale, release. And gently come on up to your hands. Tuck your back toes under and just press up into down dog. And take any movement that feels good for you. Now the other side, inhale your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, take that left knee behind the left wrist. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, down onto your elbows. And now I want you to tuck your back toes under on that right leg. Take the knee off of the mat for a moment. Rotate your quad so it's completely to the floor. Drop the back knee and that helps to lengthen. Just relax into the pose, breathe. Good, go back to your intention. And one more inhale, open mouth exhale, 
gently come up onto your hands, tuck your back toes, press up and down dog. Find some movement once more. Good. And then gently come on down to your knees and then on to your glutes. So let's sit up nice and tall. Make sure you're right on your sit bones. Good. Let's take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, take the left hand to the right knee. Find length in your spine and just twist. Try to gaze behind your right shoulder. Good, just getting a nice twist into the spine. And inhale up. Beautiful, and now exhale, twist, switch sides. Taking the right arm, right hand to the left leg. Find length in your spine and twist, gaze behind your left shoulder. Always feel so good for my back, for your spine. And then gently back to center, inhale it up. And exhale, bring hands to your heart. And let's just take 30 seconds of silence, either palms face up for energy or palms face down onto your legs for grounding. Close your eyes. And just find the beauty within the silence. Send love and gratitude to your body. And now gently take one big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Good job, everyone. Excellent work. Thank you for joining me. Whew.